Hey guys, this is Tracy. Today, we're going to take this piece that I got. This piece that I got at a thrift store for $29.99, I believe it was. 30 bucks. East Lake style dresser. I've started taking the handles off. If you can see those two missing ones are sitting up there. And we are going to transform this lady. <clears throat> it's missing the mirror. Excuse my junk from the thrift store. <laughs> I just piled it all on top of there. Um, it did not come with the mirror, so I'm going to create a backer board a little bit for it. Um, and we are going to use decoupage paper. And take it from this to this. Today on Who's Your Redesign, please join us and watch us as we take that $29 Goodwill dresser and turn it into this very fancy, lovely lady. But first thing is first, and we have to get these handles off, which screw right off with the Phillips screwdriver. They have some old, like, little nails, but it's just pulling out. Um, and so we'll take these knobs off, and then we will scrub the whole thing down with some crud cutter and go from there. All right? All right, we are back to this piece. It's been about a week since um, we were out here before. And all I've done is take off the knobs, and you'll have to excuse cobwebs and whatnot behind me because, and the birds have pulled out some of the insulation, and this is just part of my last thrift haul. <laughs> um, I'm in the barn, and not the pretty side of the barn, as you can see. It's got cobwebs, and yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you this. We're on our journey with this dresser here. It's just a slate piece. It was missing the mirror, so I'll have to fashion some sort of back piece if I can't find one. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. All right, so all I've done is take the handles off, the wooden original handles that were on here, and I scrubbed the whole piece down with the crud cutter. And even though it really didn't look dirty... I mean, it kind of has a film on it now because the crud cutter kind of makes it degloss a little bit. Look at that. That is so gross. And I don't know. You can't see through to the bottom. It looks like you can see through to the bottom, but you really can't. There is so much. Um, I'm guessing it's like a pledge buildup on it, too. And it doesn't smell like smoke. At all, but it looks like that's old a cigarette tar um, mixed in with the pledge, and you can see where the handles were at, where they didn't they didn't finish the um, process with the clear coat under the handles, and there's a little ridge where they didn't continue with all the staining either. I <laughs> found that quite funny. Um, all right, but here she is right now, and we are going to decoupage on her front and blend it to the side and maybe do a stencil on there as well. All right, I will get on to that part. All right, here is the second step done. So it is all cleaned off. I have to ignore that I was using that to hold up my um, phone. <laughs> so it is all cleaned off. Let me move it. <laughs> She's greater. <laughs> all right. And the front, I don't have it fully coated, and that's fine because I'm going to blend. But I really wanted it to be a creamy color underneath the decoupage so it's not dark and I. It, it's already a dark piece of tissue, and I don't want it to be darker. You can see my shadow there. I'm sorry. 
And the sides, I'm going to do a total blended out, like different blues and grays. So they are, a, I have just mixed up this color here. It turned into like a, I don't know, very dark gray or a light black, whatever, like a charcoal. There we go. And it is just caviar and what? cotton. Cotton, caviar. You can see kind of on the sides where I've kind of started to blend it a little bit. I didn't. I didn't do that on purpose. It just where the paintbrush pulled the colors in. And in the tops, I am still considering walnut. Um, I think I might sand them down and walnut them. Of course, I should have done that first. But you know, I'm working in reverse today. <laughs> um, so here is this so far. All right, and I'm going to get my paper as soon as this dries because this is still wet. So I need this to dry, and then I'm going to get my Mod Podge and my paper. Um, I'll show you what. And this is the paper I've chosen. Again, excuse the insulation because the birds in the barn keep digging it out. And the rest is my furniture stash behind, and I'm just a little embarrassed about how that's looking right now, so we're not going to explore that right now. But this is what I'm going to be putting on the front. I really like it. Nice stately piece. Going to go a little upscale with this one after the cute pumpkins from yesterday, which I'll show you when I'm done here. All right. After this dries, we'll put this on. All right, this is the tissue paper that I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna put it right there, and then I'm gonna blend out on the sides to match it. And then we're gonna go around the sides and blend out to match it as well. I'm gonna paint the hardware um, gold, and then I'm gonna add either um, this stencil, the script, or the kindest regard stamp um, in gold as well, like in splotches all over. And then I still think I'm going to do these walnut, and I have some gold feet I'm going to put on. All right, let's Get going on this. Time to decoupage. All right, we're here. It is adhered. And now I'm starting the blend. I'm gonna start blending it in the background. We're gonna work on that. And this is where I'm at when I stop for lunch for the day. She's mostly blended together. I can still see a little difference right there. I have to go back over. And I have to fix this area. It's just kind of roughly there. Make this darker, but it is wet. So I gotta wait for that to dry. Again, ignore my thrift haul stash over there. I'll get to that. Um, but uh, she's looking good. And I'm going to take a lunch, and I'll get back to work. It's been about a week since we were out here last. I've had to work, and I have other projects going on, and I started doing wine jug heads and have several orders for those. So I haven't been able to come out and visit this lady for a minute. Let me move this stencil. All right. So this is what she's looking like. I've taken some gold. I don't even know if it's going to show up as gold. Let's see. Get close. Gold. I've come in on the edges a little bit. I've started finishing up the top. Here. I'm almost done with that. And then I'm just going to sand these down and stain them with walnut. This is where we're at at the moment. I 
Next thing I'm going to do is paint the handles. And I was considering leaving them, and I might still, because they'll match the top when they're done. But I want to put some gold on it too. So I think I'm just going to clean them up. I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to clean them up real good and put some gold on them, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, she's got her handles on, and I just scrubbed them up real good and left them the natural wood that they were. I, well, it wasn't natural wood. They were walnut stained, I guess. It's very dark. And all I did was put some rub and buff on them. You still see some of the wood peeking through this side as well. That's that's her right now. And there's the top. I think it's lovely, 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 lovely. And I am going to sand this down. I should have done that already, so I'm going to have to protect this while I do so. And finish the sides. And that's where we're at. So next the sides. And I already painted them in a charcoal -y color because that's what I thought I was going to do. It was like caviar mixed with um, cotton. And I made this really dark dark gray but I'm going to go over it with some oh, in the navy. And then, because I like how the gold and the navy blue are looking together. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to add this script stencil to the center panel in gold. I'm going to do that now. This is what it's looking like now. It is all sealed up on the front. So the front is done. Handles are on. This part of the top is finished. It's a little dusty right now. I do have to clean that off because I've sampled some stain here. I did sand all of the top off of this side and sampled some stain. Next, I'm going to work on the sides. I have painted them in the navy, Dixie Belle in the navy. I'm going to There we go. All right, I'm going to experiment a little bit and put some stripes just on this part here because I want to put the gold script in the center. You have to excuse my fingernails there. <laughs> I didn't wear gloves when I applied the stain. So, you know, stain. Yay. Um, so stripes on this portion and all around, but the center panel here, the inset, I want to do, um, a gold script. All right, so that's how she's going to look. Excuse the mess all over. I was just on, um, social media earlier today. I believe it was today. Maybe it was yesterday morning talking about how. Every time I walk out here, I start humming the theme to Sanford and Sons, and, um, yeah, I need to clean the barn. <laughs> so that will be coming. Maybe I'll make a video of cleaning my junk. I was going to go to a show last weekend, um, but it rained, and so it got canceled. So we didn't get to go to the show. But there are plenty more coming, and we will go to at least one. So I'm going to do this now. We'll do the stripes, and then we're going to see what it looks like when the stripes are done. Again, that's a thrift haul stash I haven't gotten to yet. All right. All right, I have come up with this pattern and taping for now. And I'm going to do like a faded stripe. And again, you can see all the mess around me. I'll get that cleaned up, I promise. This is a workshop, barn, everything, storage. It's where my boyfriend stores his stuff. I store my stuff. I have my stash. And it's also a barn. What 
rock floor. See, that's why my furniture is all on boards. <laughs> all right, so this is what we're doing. Now I'm going to do a faded stripe. Give me just a second. I don't have my um, tripod with me out here or my stand. <laughs> so let me get some paint. Ah, my paintbrush is too big. That's great. Let's see if I can pull some paint to the side. It's moving, it's just slow. I'm going to try making some stripes with evergreen. Just some faded stripes in there, not like full, bold stripes. And I'm going to use this weird brush that I don't even know where I got because it's all... Uh, it doesn't even have a name on it anymore. So this brush. Oh, yes, I guess it kind of has a name. It's like a full cart brush, right? Yeah. And of course, whatever. Chalk. I don't know. I got it a while back. <laughs> It just works good. This is really stiff. And I can kind of just go up in here. This is how I do it. Oh. <laughs> he fell over. Up in here. And then I pull along the side. And I just stipple it. And I stipple around the top here. And I just keep dabbing it. And I go along the side of the tape, a lot darker, but the middle, not so. Like, it is faded over time. Here's what we're going to end up with. I need to go back with the blue over it a little bit or fade it in more. I want it to look like old faded, like it was painted with stripes 100 years ago. But next, we're going to start on this here. Alrighty. And to do that, I'm going to do an old school. I'm taking all I've got right now is some old rub and buff. So I'm going to put the rub and buff. On. It's hard to do this with one hand on my paintbrush. Where's my camera? And I'm just gonna hold it down with one hand and buff it on with the other, like this. Make sure I get in there. I still think it needs something extra um, here in this space. It's like the front is all fabulous and then the sides are more <sighs> calm. <laughs> I'm considering some harlequins, some very faded out harlequins within the parameters of the blue. I'm going to test that out, I think, and see how it looks. I'll have to make a stencil for that. I don't have a Harlequin stencil currently. I know I need to. I know I should. Instead of using a stencil and doing a Harlequin, I've decided to pull out one of my stamps. And I'm just going to load it up here. This is how I store my ink. I have um, several baggies, the Ziploc baggies, and each one of these foam rollers is soaked in a different color. And then I just am able to pull in and out my handle for each color, and it just rolls on, and it's so much simpler. Now let's see if I can do this one-handed, because I don't have my tripod out here. Let's see. I don't know how well you can see. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put it here. Let's 
see how that goes. Look at the ceiling for a minute. <laughs> You're like, oh, where'd you go, Tracy? This isn't good. see I'm still here you're just in the dark for a minute I mean it's either you can be in the dark or look at the cobwebs on the ceiling in the barn and I figured you would rather be in the dark and see all those cobwebs I think I would all right so here's how this is turning out on the side now I'm gonna do it on all the blue stripes and then I'll go back and I don't want any, it on any of the gold, on the edge of the gold here. I have like a pretty straight, firm line there, and I want that to stay. But it's going to look like this. I think that's going to be pretty. Let's get to stamping. I'm liking how this is looking so far. Okay, so what I started to do now, which you just saw a little sneak peek of, is I wanted to tie the sides in. So I'm taking this old shabby brush. It's pretty shabby. Can't do too much with that. And I'm just buffing some of the rub and buff on it, like fading, fading it out. So it kind of flows. Because it wasn't flowing so much. I mean, it was there. It was nice. But I want a continual kind of like that belongs together. So, I've got some gold on the script, of course. Now I'm just going to add this gold. And I'm going to make this edge not so harsh. And go from there. It is all stamped. It's just the sun. How you can't see it. Stamps. And what stamp did I use? Um, Bohemian Florals from Prima Redesign. That's what that is. And IOD Black Ink. The green is, um, I think I already said that, Dixie Belle Evergreen. The blue is in the navy. I'm going to finish kind of blurring the line here, making it a little cohesive, and then we're going to start on the top of this side. I got the top of the other side already just about done. I still have this side here to do. Oh, you'll have to excuse my dog if you hear something. I had to bring her out here. My One of my dogs. <laughs> the Husky Shepherd Mix LJ because she was yapping. <laughs> now I'm going to blend this in. I'm really liking that, how it's yeah, better than this. This is how I had it. And now I'm just trying to pull the gold over and fade it in. So it flows better. The transition is not so stark, sharp. This is what I come up with. much better transition to the front. I'm going to take some dark wax now and go up in these corners. Age it out a little bit around the edges. And we'll see if we like that. Because this piece is just... I love it. I'm calling it my French Chateau dresser. I think you all agree. It is very much going that direction. I'm going to add some dark wax. I've added the dimension all around. I know that's all blurry. I did that on purpose because I want it to look old and like it's run and warped over different points in time and I've taken the dark wax actually I didn't even use dark wax because I couldn't find my dark wax so I just went with this 
nice cheap stuff because that's what I had. But I think it added a nice layer of dimension there. Now I'm going to take the same dark wax and carry around to the front. And I'm going to start doing like I've done with this one. I'm going to go around the drawers and just ever so slightly around the handles where it looks like, you know, it's gotten a little wear over the years. I like how the front looks right now. The top is getting its coats of stain. And now, do the same thing on this side. All right, I almost forgot to film. <laughs> so here, there's that drawer in. We're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Top is good. Drawers are good. Sides are both excellent. Oh, want to see what I finished doing? She got new feet. She gave her some new shoes. New shoes. Now I'm going to address this back portion here. Let's see if I can zoom out. All right. The um, mirror was missing when I got this piece. So um, I'm just trying to cut a couple boards to fit across there. And then I'm going to use the same walnut stain. Adhere that. And then I'm going to stamp a pattern along the sides of the drawers. Clean up the tops of the drawers some stain on those and then maybe I'm thinking about inside here because you know it's not the cleanest um, I, I mean it's clean but it's stained it's you know old so there's a lot of staining going on in there so I'm considering just playing up the stain and doing a script stamp in here and distressing the script stamp out on all the drawers Oop. I have it on boards that aren't very level right now. So uh, I'm going to work on cutting a board for across the back. I was able to find some trim pieces to finish out the back. I stained this in the walnut, oh, down here in the walnut, um, to complement this. And then I put a nice piece of trim on top in gold, and then I rubbed it with some of the antique glaze and then a little bit of the stain that I used on these to pull it together more. So the top is done. I just need to seal it in. I haven't done that yet. The top here I will do, um, I don't know, a shiny, a glossy surface on the wooden part and the rest of it will probably be matte. Um, I've got to clean off the tops of the drawers still, and I will wipe some stain on those probably as well. And now, I'm going to add some detail to the sides of the drawers, on the sides. And I picked out this one, this stamp here. And I'm going to put um, IOD black ink on it and stamp the sides all the way down. And after I have decided what I'm doing here, there's some dust on there. Let me sand and down some stuff. All right, so here are the sides. Put on there so you can see. Like that. And on the inside, Hard to get the drawer in with my hand. <laughs> On the inside, I've got one done. I have taken antique wax and the kind of regard stamp from IOD and put down some it's blue ink. It kind of looks black on camera, but it's like navy blue and distressed. So when you go open the drawer, boom. <laughs> some interest at all angles outside new shoes not me <laughs> side of the drawer inside of the drawers top 
Here's the finished product. All staged and ready. There's the cow picture we made last time. Some more of my upcycle projects going on up there. I just staged her outside because she's awful heavy and I don't have the strength to get her in the front door or the back door. All finished. See that stamping action on there too. Top. There's the original piece of paper in the center. What do you guys think about this one? I think I should do something like this again. Do you like the more simple flips? Let me know down below. And if you liked this piece of furniture, I know the video for this might be choppy and a little shaky because most of the time I was <laughs> holding my phone. Um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be doing some more furniture this week. I have a thrift haul. You have to excuse the hole where the grill touched the screen. <laughs> have to fix that. Okay, here she is again. All right, thank you guys.